And the kid has been very accurate when, he, when he's throwing the football this year. He's playing his best ball. First play to Puka. And Puka Williams takes a big shot as he picks up one on the initial carry. Yeah. Brandon Jones needs to be the leader today for this Texas defense to get right back on what they need to do to be able to win. Those are the attention impact players. Stanley taking a shot, looking downfield, and flags come out. They give up 15 before you give up a touchdown. After the huddle. To Puka Williams, slicing through the right side, and another flag on the play. Kansas lines up at the Texas 40. Williams in motion, and he gets the give to the outside, looking for the sideline, got it for the first down. But the ability to accelerate when he's in and out of those cuts is what makes him exceptional. And then the breakaway speed, you have to take a different angle when trying to... Heels, after a couple of costly penalties, Stanley will look to throw. Trying to get Parchman on the comeback. And Fumble. Puka Williams picks it up, trying to shake his way free, but will not get away from the... This handling of the football there from Carter Stanley. And that will bring out the kicking unit. So really like the change with Brent Deerman taking over as the OC. Topuka Williams, Brandon Jones, there's a missed tackle, but a day away is there. That's something Todd Orlando pointed out last week. There were a lot of times where guys would make a miss, and then they had space to run. That time there, ton of un orange jerseys around him. Williams again, back-to-back -back carries. He's got a seam. Williams, it's a foot race to the 40. Cook will try to bring him down, and Cook does coming from the backside yards for Puka. Well, Texas fans, don't feel bad. He was doing this same thing to Oklahoma. Great, he picks up a great block there on the outside edge, but his top end speed, his ability to accelerate like a race car is next level. He is a former track star and <laughs> run. Williams checks back in. The carry to Robinson. Stanley quick toss was looking for Kwame Lasseter to the second. And that's something that Texas has to clean up. Oh, quick hard. pitch to Puka Williams. He picks up four on first down. Now finish. Puka Williams back in. Stanley pulls it, rifles it over the middle behind Robinson. And it's it throws and then just misses him. Looking right side, Lasseter. B.J. Foster is there quickly. Give him the confidence to run the football. And they said the quarterback run has to at least be a threat, and Stanley providing. This is the guy that's carried the offense, Puka Williams. Parchment is back in the game, number four on the bottom of the screen. Stanley will try to get the corner. He's got it tiptoeing, but forced out of bounds. Of the, the offense when it comes to RPOs is the mesh point. He did a nice job of pulling the ball off of work. Now back in the shotgun. RPO. Puka. Up the middle, keeps his feet. And he's in. Puka Williams. An exclamation to the drive for Kansas that started with the roll of the dice. And as we run the play here. So what you're going to see is you're going to your left. Odeway does a nice job of scraping off the back side. But it was Puka's ability to gather those feet. To Andrew Parchment, first to 10, at the 10. Here's Puka, cuts it outside, overshot a great open field tackle. At their speed and score points here. You'll see Overshawn at the top of the screen come back. Here's what I love, the ability to close in goal. Pressure, Stanley beats it, has a man over the middle. Trading for the Mad Hatter. His son, Ben Miles, alone back with Stanley. And there to block. The float right over the hands of B.J. Foster. Here with Cook. Puka in the backfield with Stanley. Third and five. Here comes the pressure. And Parchment in and out.
this curled up and he's doing it. <laughs> Stanley looking for Williams in the flat, stiff arm, and out shy of the 30th in his offense. Here comes the pressure. Stanley sidestepping it, looking for Charlotte. They've struggled getting pressed for the last two games. And here you just see pushing through people effort. And that's what you've seen from Texas um, the last few games of the season. Stanley with a cleaner pocket, a man over the middle, two shots. I mean, you just watch it here. It's an in-breaking route. I mean, great feet here. You see how quick he got that ball out of his hands? That's what makes him so dangerous. With 109 before the break. To Williams. Stanley will give him a block. Down the sideline, pass Cook. One man to beat. And Puka Williams into the end. It's also blocking, and he, he, he's, he does this a lot when you like watch him on film. It's just being there. I mean, and then you get a, a, an excellent block from the fullback, Miles, to clear the way. And listen, this team is for real. And, and I'm telling you, if, if you think that this is just... David Binda sums up the injury situation for Texas. Good point. This is his first game of his Texas wow. career, true freshman. It was actually moved to running back earlier this year. Stanley. Looking for parchment somewhere. There's a trick up that man's sleeve. Yep, you know what's coming. That's Miles. Dumping it to Puka Williams. Puka to the right side, to the 20-yard line, and brought down by Pulse. He always falls on his feet. This time here, he just gets tripped up. The ball was thrown a little bit behind him. Makes a nasty cut. Stays on his feet. Phenomenal. What's the offensive approach? He said, get the ball to Puka. No Period. <laughs> Stanley to the right side and Lassiter. In. <laughs> Big second down here for Carter. They like to run out of this set. They won't play action. To the left side, looking for parchment. Voices there. Just haven't seen enough of that from this Texas defense. Pressure. Stanley drops it, scrambles, lost it to the end zone, and Robinson was doing everything. And so you have mishandled snap, then you come back, right? And he, he did, actually did a good job of even getting that. For real, and this offense is, is charging. No surprise, first carry to Williams, one slip tackle, and Byron Vaughn. They've got talent, they've just got to bring it all together. Stanley will throw Lassiter, and Lassiter will pick up the first down. Those go along with all the physical intentions. Second and ten here for Carter Stanley. Clean pocket, wants another shot, one-on-one -on -one coverage, and a diving stop made by... Forces the offense to have to think with the complexity of his formations. Stanley feeling the pressure, first down toss, move the chess class, so there is talent on this Kansas roster. To Williams, stuffed. TF there. TF. On third down, you, listen, you've got to get home base and hit the quarterback. Play action. Stanley once again with time. Parchment is open inside. On this Texas defense, man, watch his footwork and this release. That sucker's out of there so quick. He makes quick decisions and really duped them at times when they didn't even know where the ball was at. Out of the pistol. Stanley backing up, floating it to Miles. I mean, Carter, look at this. He's got pressure literally in his face. He's falling, throws it back, and it was a perfect play. Jeremy said he would not be phased, would approach this like any other game on the NAIA level. Looks that way. Stanley takes a rip. This kid's a thumper now. I, I, it's, it's a lot of stuff that he didn't do well versus Oklahoma, but when he hits you, I'm playing time the right way. Williams in motion to Puka Williams. Williams to the outside. And he's drugged down. I mean, how do they not have him wrapped up? He's a Houdini. Oh. You have outside leverage if you're Mitchell, but his cutting ability is so phenomenal. But remember I said that three or four yard mark is dangerous when you close down the tackle. You've got to pursue him. Tapuka, first down. 51, they're seeing more, more plays. Puka Williams in motion. They give it to him on the sweep. 
He's shaking his way up close to the deal, and, and, and Texas has to stop him. They've got to stop the run to have a chance. Stanley. And that is underthrown. And then the shot that he takes, Puka, coming to try to pick up pressure, and that is what threw him into the quarterback. Those are always dangerous plays when you're around those knees. And the yeah. outside not trying to do anything malicious for you. Texas appearing to be in a press look on the outside. Those matchups will be available. Very successful conversions on the last drive. They give it back to Puka Williams. Big hole on the left side. Slips through one tackle, tries to cut back. He's still up past the 50 and finally out of bounds. Watch the finish. I mean, this kid is a guy that, when I'm telling you, he consistently escapes grasp of defenders. He's got killer moves. He's Ooh. sneaky. Look at the showcase here. And then the power on the end. This boy is dangerous, man. If you're, if you're Brandon Jones, it's hard to tackle him because you got to come fast and complete it. Second and 17 to Williams. Bimmage giving chase and Bimmage, big shot. But somehow Williams still finds a way to stay up. <laughs> the punch. I mean, look at him. He's carrying the ball like Deion Sanders yeah, takes his shot. Prompt time. And look, he kind of juggled the ball out there, but he managed to keep on to it. Depending on how close they stay here to the marker. The blitz is coming. Here's the pressure. Overshow with the hit. Stanley goes down. I mean, this is a six-man pressure. And I mean, and they're coming. And they are charging. And it was a great job this time of finishing the play. We saw it last week, right, where you just were getting there, but you're not finishing. Two games, some of the leaders came to Tom Herman and said, you know what? Duvernay should probably be on that list as Jawan Mitchell meets Puka Williams. With the staff there, I think he's I think he's set to have a bright future here. Parchment and Robinson at the bottom of the screen. Stanley throws against the grain, finds his tight end, and that has been exceptional. 61%. This Kansas team is converting right now. Three-man rush. A baby over the middle and complete to Stefan. So fast that he can be successful. He's having an outstanding game tonight. Quick give to Puka Williams and stuffed. Byron Vaughn's there. He lamb off a punt and a loss against OU. Back to Puka. And Puka again hit. This time it was Bimmage in the backfield. He wins going one way. Look, he wins there, and then he comes back and wins again. I mean, that was outstanding tracking. The last time in this situation. And he's connected across the middle of the field. Downfield. Some contact there. And if Finishing those plays and gaining confidence as they continue to grow and get more experience. Downfield. Looking left side. Jamison is there. He's a good football player. Straight up grab Parchment's arm on that play. Here comes the pressure. Stanley deals with it, and it was fading. A lot tonight. They've gotten home, right? The quarterback hurries. They just haven't gotten home base. And, and Carter's done a nice job. Still getting the 16-yard line. To Puka Williams. Cutting up the middle. He stays up. Williams into the end zone. The Jayhawks on the first. Uh, it, every time you think he's bottled up, choop, choop. I mean, that's two there. I don't know how he got through that space, but there's something about the way he slithers through defenses and he gets real skinny. And then he's so powerful and strong. Like, he's going to break tackles. Has his third 100 yard game of the season. See if the Jayhawks have another response. Trying to get. Their go-to receiver, Robinson. That they've gone through, too. And, I mean, he's just been maybe a step short where, as you, if you have a cornerback there, it might be a little bit different. Hooker Williams brought down by Osai and Paul. Which means he'll be on the slot covering Robinson, a matchup they've liked tonight. Williams motions out. The throw down the sideline. Robinson tries to point. That was a nice takeaway. I mean, he just flat out flattened the freshman. And remember, Tornadin was hurt earlier in the game and came back. Williams met by a host of orange jerseys. He is still up <laughs> at 170 pounds. Final Hard mark rushing against this Texas defense. Carter Stanley has been brilliant at quarterback. He's got time to throw, stepping up, looking for the end zone, and it's dropped. And his maturity. Third and long. Here comes the Longhorns. Across field, Cook. In my opinion, that wasn't called. Big fourth down here. Give it to Carter. 
Blitz. Sideline, Charlotte fighting for it. Does he come down with it? Dump and Kansas has had some of that tonight. Three controversial calls that could have probably either gone anyway have gone in Kansas' favor. Back to Puka. Puka still fighting for yardage. Hit well at the 10-yard line. Game. So miscommunication off the back foot for Parchment, and he makes the catch. He had the drop. Kansas needs to score and not give the ball back to Texas. Swing pass to Robinson. Pass. Four man rush. Stanley picks it up. And one of the biggest brains of the RPO system. Third and two to Puka. Puka again making Texas defenders miss. 506 yards of offense for Kansas. Looking for Lasseter, tried to warn it, but has not put it together. With the exception of the win in Boston College, like he has tonight here in Austin. Robinson, nothing going there, and it will set up another third and ten with a buck 47 left. Your response, Carter Stanley. Pressure. He feels it, Puka Williams, but a great same here, fourth and five. Open man. First down and more across the 50. Lassiter staying up. Respect. Respect. Do you see his head movement? The, the recognition, the ways in which. And Dermot told us this yesterday. He said it. Handling. Looking like nails. Over the middle. Robinson. 